All right, guys, welcome back to the Blue Belly Farms channel. We are at the Miller Lumber Mill here on the Eastern North Carolina map. And I'm delivering the load of lumber that we were, or the, of logs that we cut up last episode. It's going to be, my guess is 450. Let's go. 454. How about that? I, I swear I didn't, like, do that and then unrecord it. I just have gotten used to it. Uh, how the finances, finances work. Uh, now, if you're wondering why I'm looking around over here, well... You guys know why I'm looking around. Because if you're also wondering how we got some extra money, it was not all wood that I sold. I wish that I could claim it was that. No, I found some more collectibles. I can't, I don't know why I'm getting into these on this map, but I just really am. And it's been helpful. This kind of start from scratch style that we're doing here is a bit debilitating. I don't know. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but what? is this being produced by our stuff we're delivering? Like, what is that? I don't know. I don't get it. Anyways, we'll go ahead and drive back up to the farm. Take you guys with me here. If the truck ever starts. Uh, so, we're at 13,000, it's January, I did want to remind you, in case you forgot, that, should I stop at this house real quick? I mean, we're here, you know, it'd be impolite not to at least say hello, just maybe look around their property for a minute or two you know like good neighbors don't mind me neighbors oh those are birds just potentially looking for a few more things you know just saying hello howdy merry christmas and Oh my goodness, I don't even think I realized that's my first plow I've found. I've been to so I've gotten so many of these things and there's still more. There's entire categories I haven't even found yet. That's crazy. Okay. So back to it, back to it. Now that we're at fifteen thousand, that might allow us to uh, to do a few more things here. This field right here was the one that was the plowing contract that maybe I should have done. I don't know. We're going to be super realistic here and cut through the neighbor's field. Now this tree is the next one. I'll probably have to push it into our property. It probably won't let me cut it. But we do have more trees that we could fell, if we're into that. Um, and we can check the contracts. The sheep are doing well. I checked in with them right before I pressed record. Uh, the sheep are doing well. They've got plenty of grass. They're full up on water from the last episode. So... I think we go ahead and probably just simulate to January and have a little bit of a strategy meeting here and decide, okay, not that, we want to decide on what we're planting in our field 10. Uh, we need to decide that now because like if it's canola, we need to make arrangements for that next month if it's yeah we won't do cotton and then we have this little window for spring planting of wheat barley I think probably oats makes sense there's no special header needed for oats and 
we can we can rent the harvester in in yeah in wheat we can rent the harvester in july and we'll be able to do both fields if we do oats i think that's good because if we do soybeans again we would plant them a little later but then they don't get harvested until october and that's not great for us so that's my thought probably plant oats now question before i simulate to the next month Does our, yeah, that, that kind of planter does oats. I don't need to go up there. Okay, let's go ahead and simulate to February, February, February. It's super easy to say. We'll get around here um, and I'm gonna assume we'll have like like a hundred wool so not really enough yet to to try to sell also uh, we may not even sell the wool until we buy uh, something that will allow us to to pick up the pallet so if you look here we're at 126 uh, their water's down a little bit their grass is still good they're at 40 percent reproduction the wheat field is doing okay it's 50% fertilized so we could do another fertilization on it I guess that'd be something worth doing is that solid fertilizer you know what? This might be the perfect time to do that because we should be able to see where we've been with the frost on the field. This wasn't what I had planned, but this could be could be a good little use of our time. Shouldn't use too much. Okay, I was wrong. It still shows Oh geez, that's actually super difficult. Oh, there's a log. <laughs> okay, this is, the thing is some is better than none. Even if I don't get perfect coverage, if some of the field has better yield from us doing this, worth it. hope we're not wasting this stuff because it's really hard to see if it's changing state I should have stopped and checked now it's at 100% fertilized okay I'll finish the field then that improves yield like for real for real okay I'll take this put it up here for the next load I should just run it over to the truck It's so funny, like, looking at the whole map, our fields are so small, but they seem like they take long enough to do stuff on them. Okay, let's see if I can get a good spot here. About here seems good. And then I'm just going to turn around and come right back up the other side. Like, this. And we should have a little bit of a gap on that side, but not bad. And most of the field is now going to show us fertilized. Yeah. A little bit of a gap there, a little bit of a gap there. I could try to zip these, but I don't know that it's really worth 
the wasted fertilizer. And now we know, don't do it when it's frosty out, because it doesn't change the state. So, GG's. We're learning, aren't we? Every little bit helps, everything you learn. Uh, that's not the side that I thought I was getting out on, but all right. So let's take a look at our contracts again. Ooh. <laughs> the only thing here are massive, massive contracts. Let's just look at that just for fun. We're not definitely not doing it. Field 36, cultivating. How long do you think that would take? Two hours, probably. Crazy. Crazy talk. So, just just for the sake of argument, we were here. We got all the collectibles here. We got the collectibles. I don't think I checked the collectibles down here. I don't think I did. Pretty sure we got all of them up here. Because we were up at this field 31 last episode getting water over here so I feel like this area is ripe for the picking not that I'm gonna do that right now but just you know keeping it in mind so those are seeds can I see how many 200 oh, 170 liters yeah that's not gonna be enough not gonna be enough and I don't think I want to plow this yet but February is right before we want to put in our oats it's beginning of March do oh we could put wheat in the bottom half of that field All right, we are going to need to buy a lot of seed. Yeah, I, th I think we go ahead and simulate to March and I'm gonna start plowing that field. That's what we're gonna do. Or, here's a crazy idea. What if we get a worker plowing the field 10 and I use the little tractor to plant in the bottom half of the grain field? Oh man, this is, this is crazy talk. Okay. So we get a worker plowing that. Okay, we can do this. I mean, it'd be a little bit of a waste of money, but that way we could get both jobs done at the same time. And we're going to need to buy seed. I don't know. That tractor might not be enough to pull that cedar. That's a pretty big cedar. Oh, well. You never know. You never know until you try. I will say this episode is all over the place, my goodness. Whoa! That's what it looks like when a field changes state, in case anybody wanted to wanted to know what that was like. I think I'm going to go do two passes down at the bottom of this field before I hire the worker, just because I don't want the AI turning around into the road. That's a good way to make a mess. get our lighting and our silo right. Mm. How many hundred pictures like am I going to have of this tractor though? That's one of many reasons why I'm eager to get the next vehicle 
So, I know you guys might not be, you may have forgotten, but we have 20,000 liters of soybeans sitting in the silo. And in July, they become their highest price. So we're in March, April, May, June, July. Four more months, we can sell those and hopefully be able to buy the new tractor. The first new tractor. The other one, the $88,000 tractor, is a long way off. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm not gonna do a full headland. I'm gonna go down here and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to put it on a worker down at that other end so that when the tractor like when the tractor comes down this way it doesn't try to turn around out here because it'll run into traffic if we do that I would love some feedback I know we're you know 16 minutes into the video this is like this is like diehards that are watching at this point, and I'm so thankful for you if you're one of those diehards. Leave me a thumbs up if, you, if you're if you one of the diehards. Leave me a comment that says I'm one of the diehards. I'll uh, give you a virtual high five or something. But the, the diehards, I would love to know from you guys, do you, do you like when I do stuff off stream and then or off recording and then just tell you what I did? Or would you rather see longer recordings? Or would you rather me splice in like some finishing the job style stuff? I could do more of like a dagger win. Oh, he's gonna fix that. Okay, whatever. Uh, I could do more of a dagger win style with it and splice in some. What, what's the word that I'm looking for? Time lapse. That's the word. Time lapse. I could splice in some time lapse. Let me know what you think. What you guys enjoy watching. Because I've, I've had comments in the past that were like, don't skip ahead. You know, we want to see what you're doing. And I've had other people be like, they just don't come back to the channel. So don't get their feedback. So I would say yes, this works. It's a little slow, but yes, it works. I have to remember though. When I do that other field, I have to remember to switch it to oats. Will I? Great question. Seven feels so slow. So do I go up and down the hill or across? There's probably not a right way to do it. Just got to do it. All right, wheat. a little bit of grass. Well, we'll fix that when we do the whole field after this year's harvest. Because this will probably be a grain field. Oh, it's, it's trying to decide if it wants to pick a different gear. But don't let me stop you. still seven but is it possible that it's a faster seven miles an hour no 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 now another question that I have is since this is wheat it's gonna produce straw do we want straw we have a bunch of extra bales already 
thought about getting a type of livestock that would need straw, but we're doing these open air pens that don't require straw because they don't produce manure. So even if we picked like cows or something, I I do I do wonder if it would be cool at some point to put in a more permanent livestock option, but I like where we're at. Hopefully you guys do too. I think that did just dandy going up and down. So I'm going to turn around. So I don't have to hit B. See, they're all different. They're all a little bit different. Okay, that guy seems to be doing okay over there. I'll probably finish that job in the next episode. Because we, we broke up the plowing episodes. A little bit. This is a nice setup. This is not as bad as I anticipated. In terms of just overall capability of the tractor and size of the implement and all that. It, it seems realistic and viable for this size farm to run this kind of operation. I wonder how many, how much wheat we're going to get off of this field. 12, 15,000 maybe? sure there's a metric for it, a way to tell, based on acreage and all that. Plus the variety of wheat that you're growing. But I think this is going to be a lot of fun. We'll get a gaggle of chickens in. And they'll start making us eggs. So we'll have wool and eggs as regular income we have more trees to chop later on this year we're in march right now we've gotten a few we still have that one tree over there a couple hundred bucks worth a few of those long tall ones we can probably get into longer pieces and might be able to make a little bit more money tree. That was a tough choice to decide to leave that tree, but I didn't want to eliminate all of our foliage here. That seemed a little extreme. So I left this one and I left some along over there. Turn, turn, turn. Nope. Oh, we can get it. It won't let me just pull around there. Disagree, game. Disagree. Not again. Close. Close indeed. Is that working? I hope. Now we overlapped a little bit. Is it time to go around the end? Actually, I might, just for something different. A 
I'll be really interested to hear what you guys think of the new series that's replacing the John Deere series. That should be should be live right around the time this episode is coming out. So I don't know how you guys feel about the overall channel, how much you know if you watch both of my series or just one at a time, but I really enjoy playing the game and I've enjoyed making content, so I hope you guys like it. Let me put it to you this way. In all my years of watching farm sim content, I've never seen anybody do quite what I have set up. I've seen some similar storyline attempts, but not quite what I'm doing so I hope it works I'm excited it's a brand and a style that I've never seen done before but it is vintage in America I'll say that That word vintage, though, <laughs> we have to maybe put that put that in quotes because I think everybody has a slightly different definition of what they consider vintage. Like for me, this case, which is probably from the '60s, definitely vintage. But to certain people or people of a certain age, I should say, the '60s don't really seem that vintage because it's. To older folks, the 60s seem like not that long ago, and the 30s is vintage. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, hint, hint, for my loyal viewers that are watching this at the 27 minute mark, would you consider the early 90s vintage? If so, my new series will be right up your alley. If you don't consider that vintage, I hope you'll still give it a chance. Because I think it's a cool idea. Alright, a couple more passes and we will be done with this lower piece. And hopefully, if my calculations are correct, it will all be ready to harvest at the same time. And we'll get ourselves a bunch of chickens and give them some of this feed. I'm really looking forward to this. It, I know it seems like four months is going to take forever to get here, but um, I think it'll I think it'll be fast. And July is going to be a crazy month for this farm because we'll harvest both fields, and we have to sell. We have to remember to sell our soybeans for max profit. So we're going to have a silo full of wheat. We'll be selling the oats off the field. We'll be getting a new tractor. Selling the soybeans. It's going to be madness. And honestly, I don't know what we're going to do in the months between now and then. Maybe we do a little bit more logging. Maybe we do a second coat? Is that, that's not the right word. Second covering? Second application of fertilizer? But if I finish the... If I finish the plowing over there in the next episode... And then we'll plant the oats. Did I say that's March? I think I said March. Yeah, I mean, we could even wait and plant the oats next month. If we felt like it. Just to spread out the activity. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and switch this to oats so I don't forget. By the next time we play... Yeah, it's looking good. 
We are spending a couple hundred bucks on having that worker do that job. So I'll probably take over the next episode. Thanks so much for checking out this one. Appreciate everybody being here. My name is Blue Belly. This is Blue Belly Farms, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.